What's up guys? I'm back! Ragnarok community, I'm here again with a new leveling guide for Ragnarok Transcendence. It's not fragmented anymore. This leveling guide is for every classes, so no need to search for any specific one. I hope this is gonna help a lot of people. So without further ado, here is my Ragnarok Transcendence leveling guide. Okay, let me give you guys a few info before we head right in. First is Ragnarok Transcendence encourages people to party up. And the more people in your party, the more experience you're gonna get. So always make sure that you're in a party to get the best results. Okay, let's start. From level 1 to 10, it's gonna be the training grounds. Most likely, there will be no party in this area, so you're gonna have to solo. Don't worry, it would take long. Even if your job level is 10 already, stay at the training grounds. Because if you leave early, you might have trouble killing enemies. Especially if you're not the killer classes. But if you are, for example an archer, you can leave the training grounds at level 5. Heck, even at level 3. You will notice that your job level is already 10. In Ragnarok Transcendence, job level goes up very fast. So that's level 1 to 10. You could leave as early as level 7. At that level, you should be good enough for the next leveling spot. The next leveling spot is for level 10 to 25. You could do this at level 5 but it might be difficult. But since you're already out of the training grounds, this is the place. It's Paeon Forest. It's just east of Paeon. The map is called Paeon Field 08. And to get to Payon, Payon, if you want to call it that, use Akafra for warps. And in Payon Field 08, you will hunt down spores, wormtail, and boas. This is a good place to level up because monsters here also has a really good drop which is strawberries. Both spores and boas drop strawberries so make sure to prioritize those guys. And of course, get in a party for faster leveling. This is the area where people recruit for members. If so happen that you're a full support acolyte and people don't want to invite you, make your own party and be active at recruiting. So after spores, the next leveling spot which is level 25 to 35 is just south of Payon Field 08. So just go down and you will be in Payon Field 07. And there you will be hunting down Bigfoots. Primarily Bigfoots and like in spores, there's a farmable item here which is honey, another sought after item. It's gonna help you save up money to buy gears. So anyway, here is the recruiting spot. This is where people set up pubs for inviting members. You can stay in this leveling spot until level 40. If so happen that the next leveling spot is still too strong for you or no one wanna invite you in a party. The next leveling area is for level 35 to 55 and the place is called Orc Village and to get there, you can use the Kafra in Prontera, spend 1700 zenis if I'm correct, to warp to Orc Village and when there, you will hunt down Orcs, all kinds of them but be wary of this place because all monsters in Orc Village are aggressive there is a high chance that you will get mobbed, so be careful. This is the recruitment place. And yeah, beware, there's a boss in here. You can stay here until level 60. If, again, the next leveling spot is still too strong for you or no one wanna invite you in a party. There is an alternative place, which is Toy Factory, but I've been there a lot. And there's hardly anyone there. But it wouldn't hurt to check, just in case. Now from level 55 to 70, the area is called Morok Field 17. And to get there, just go down from Morok two times, and then head east. In that area, you will be hunting Hodes, Sandman, and Frildora, if I'm correct. 
Holds and Sandman are weak to fire, so bring fire spells and weapons. The recruitment area in Morrock Field 17 is located here, not near the entrance. So just move a bit, and when you see a bunch of vendors and people, that would be the place, the recruitment area. There are times that there are less people here, so just find the right time for your region. Okay now, for level 70 to 85, the place would be Geffenfield 06. And to get there, you need to go to west of Geffen two times, then head north. That place is full of dragon types. That's another place where fire element would be very helpful. The monsters you're gonna hunt there are Petites, Sidewinder, and Mantis. Or you could turn it around and they will be hunting you. <laughs> so keep your wits about and be wary of snakes and dragons. You can leave this place as early as 80 if you're getting tired of the place. And you can stay here until 90. I do recommend that you stay here and at least level 85. Now for the final area you will be grinding in. The location is labeled GL Prison. It's located in GH, not Gaming Hardcore. It's on Glassheim. So from the Petites area, Geffenfield 06, just go west and be in GH. And from there, go to this area at the top and get inside. Now, in that next map, look for GL Prison Entrance. It's here, in this location. So let's say you're in GL Prison. To get a party there, you will need to get to this spot and ask for an invite. So the monsters you're gonna hunt there are mostly walking dead, insects, and ghosts. Be careful here because monster density here is crazy aft. Full support priest can even properly recruit here. This is another good place for fire and also holy element. And that's it guys, that's my Ragnarok Transcendence leveling guide. I hope this helps and if you have any more questions just leave a comment and I will answer as soon as I see it. And if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, share and then subscribe to be part of the gaming hardcore family. And as always. This is Gaming Hardcore, see you in the next one.